How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're about versus Blitzer from the Discord server and the Smogon overused here. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun Blitzer. So they're going to lead off with Kitsuna, the Ninetales as I anticipated. So I led off with my Dragapult because I just want to drop a Draco on something on their team. And um, they do get the Drought up, which is fine. Now, they probably switch out into Iron Treads here to take a hit, but I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor anyway because they might not at the same time, which they haven't. So we get a Spec Draco off, which cleanly KOs the Ninetales. Not sure if the crit mad because we are Specs, but, you know, either way, we're off to a good start. In comes Lyra, which is probably going to be... Ah, oh, the Leafeon. Leafeon. So Leafeon gets knockoff, I believe, so we've got to be very careful here. I am leaning towards the Great Tusk or the Florges, um, or the Scizor. Scizor could be good. I think what I'll do is I'll go Scizor. Um, but as always, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles like this one, be sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. And with that being said, let's bring Scizor in to do its thing. They go for a Solar Blade. Solar Blade's an interesting one. It's a physical Solar Beam, pretty much. Um, and it's got a pretty cool animation, to say the least. There we go. Boosh, like a lightsaber. Awesome. Does no damage, obviously. Now, they could terrify a Terra Blast here, so we've got to be very careful once again. I am leaning towards switching out here because they either go for a knockoff, but they wouldn't do that. Or they terrify her, or they switch out. One of the two. So I'm going to go Gyarados, expecting the terrify her. But they do withdraw, which is interesting. What are they going to go into? The Iron Treads? Iron Treads comes in, which is amazing. So Iron Treads is a big threat to us, um, to my Scizor anyway, because I don't have close combat. They're going to get that booster energy, and it's going to be in it's attack. Okay, not speed, attack. Nice. Um, so we withdraw our scissor, and we're going to go straight into Gyarados. Gyarados can definitely handle the Iron Treads, unless they're Supercell Slam, which I have a feeling they're not, but I don't know if I can risk it or not. Or should I just risk it? Should I just say screw it and risk it? Because, like, Gyarados does actually re do really well against that team. Let's go for a Dragon Dance. Let's go for the Dragon Dance, um, like so. Because I think at most they'll have Volt Switch. If that. I don't know if they'll have Supercell Slam. I, they watch them have Supercell Slam now. I miss. Knock off. They're going to knock off our boots, which is going to do a lot of damage. Um, however, that shows me that you don't have Supercell Slam. So I am indeed going to go for a Earthquake right now because it'll do more damage than Waterfall will thanks to the Sunlight. Um, sunlight doesn't boost Earthquake. It just lowers the power of Waterfall. So they go for a Rapid Spin, which is going to give them a plus one in speed, which means they now outspeed my Gyarados. However... Um, I'm not really bothered. <laughs> am I bothered? Am I really bothered though? Am I bothered? I don't think I am. So if we assume they're going to go for another knockoff or a rapid spin again to get more speed, we should either go Dragapult to block the rapid spin or we should go Great Tusk. I'm leaning towards the Great Tusk. Um, we could still use Gyarados for later. It outspeeds the Meloetta after all and it outspeeds the Sinister. So we could go Terra Flying, Terra Blast, something like that. And um, still so we'll go Great Tusk like so. We get that Proto Synthesis, which is, should be with our defense, I think. Yeah, defense. Which means we can take any hit from this thing. They actually make a withdrawal of their own. What are they going to go into? The Leafeon? Lyra, that's the Leafeon. So Leafeon, the Lyra is coming in or whatever it is. Um, which is awesome for them. Now, I want to get Stealth Rocks up. I really want to get Stealth Rocks up. I think that'd be really beneficial to the team. Breaking that firm potential move to scale on the Dragonite. So you know what? I'm going to say screw it and go for a Stealth Rock. Because they probably predict us to switch and go for a Swords Dance. Or a Terra Blast Fire, one of the two. But that Swords Dance makes them a big threat right now. So we get the Stealth Rocks up, which is great. Um, maybe I should have done some damage to the uh, Leafeon first. I don't know. And um, what's our switch in here? I guess we could sack off Gyarados and then bring in Dragapult because the sun should wear off, I mean, soon. Uh, it should. It's a big should. Should, 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 should. Um, do we go into Gyarados? Let's sack off Gyarados at this point. We may as well. I, I do need Great Tusk because it's like one of the only things we've got that stops the Dragonite. So we definitely need Great Tusk around. I know it was ballsy for me to stay in and go for the Stealth Rocks, but I kind of knew they'd probably predict us to switch into Scizor or something. So they go for a Soda Bleed now, which is definitely going to take out Gyarados at plus to attack, no doubt. Leafeon comes through. And why is, tell, tell me why Leafeon's actually putting in the work right now. That's, that's the crazy part. Like, he's putting in the work. So um, Gyarados goes down. Harsh Sunlight does fade, but Leafeon's still decently fast. So we do have to be careful still. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into our uh, Dragapult. And I'm quite simply going to drop a Draco. There's no reason not to. There's no way they're Terra Fairy with Terra Blast. So we drop a Draco and it should KO the Leafeon here. So they withdraw the Leafeon. They're going to save it for another day. And they're going to go into their Meloetta. The Gourmet maybe expecting a Shadow Ball. 
Also, probably because it's Assault Vest or something along those lines. Uh, especially defensive maybe with Calm Mind. Uh, Meloetta does take that like an absolute champ, though. So that is definitely some sort of specially defensive variant. However, I'm not too worried about the Meloetta because we do have the Scizor right here. So let's go Scizor real quick. We'll withdraw our Dragapult. We'll go into Scizor. We'll go for a knockoff, quite simply. Because I want to see what item they are. Because they're not leftovers by the looks of it. So I'm wondering if they are Assault Vest. So they go for a Psychic, which is going to sting a little bit. Just a little bit of chip. Not too much like, but just a little bit. So we should go for a U-turn here, but knockoff is so tempting that I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go for the knockoff. They're actually going to terrestrialize. What type are they going for, though? That's the real question. Are they going to go fairy or are they going to go fire? Electric. Electric. Why? Why do this? Why do you do this? So we don't have to worry about Terra Normal Extreme Speed Dragonite, which is great. They go for the Terra Electric Thunderbolt, which is definitely going to sting quite a bit to Sizzle. Wait, it won't KO. Uh, never mind. It does KO us. Okay, I thought Sizzle would actually be able to take that, but I guess I'm underestimating Meloetta a bit there. Um, either way, we can safely go into pretty much whatever we want right now. I am leaning towards the um, Reuniclus because it's Assault Vest, the Dragapult for the U-turn maybe, or the Great Tusk, which doesn't outspeed if they're max speed. So I think I have to go Reuniclus here, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Good old Flubber can come in now. Looking amazing. I love the, I love Reuniclus. It's such a cool Pokemon. Let's go for a Psychic. Um, just because why not? They go for that Thunderbolt booster by Terra. Meloet is coming through right now. And it does no damage, which is great. Is it going to paralyze us? It does paralyze us. I called it as well. What's with the hacks this game? First turn Draco Meteor crit with an on the Nine Tails, And then they get the para hacks with the Thunderbolt after I called it. BS. That's what I is. BS. Anyway, let's go for a Psychic once again. They go for a Thunderbolt. That's going to definitely sting a little bit. Hopefully, we don't get fully paralyzed. If we do, we can switch out. We've got Regenerator. It's no big deal. Um, we are fully paralyzed, which is really unfortunate. So, we're going to have to switch Reuniclus out now. I can still use Reuniclus for later. So, I'm going to go into Floor just now. So, there we go. We're going to withdraw our Reuniclus. Get that Regenerator, which is a really useful ability to have for Pokemon that like to switch out for all those anti-switches out there. And we're going to Blossom the Floor just because it pretty much walls the ever-loving Christ out of this thing. So they go for a T-Bolt, which is definitely going to sting a little bit. Not too much. Yeah, it takes it better than Reuniclus did. And do we get fully paralyzed? No, no, we don't get paralyzed. That's great. So, Florges, I need you to do some stuff right now. What I need you to do is I need you to calm mind. I need you to calm down and calm mind. So they go for a T-Bolt. We're going to eat that up like it's nothing. Like so. There we go. No paralysis, which is nice. We go for a calm mind. That's going to boost our special attack and special defense to sky high levels. Sky high levels, which means we should be able to do some decent damage to this thing with Moonblast now. And we can definitely take a few hits. I don't want to go for too many Calm Minds because it might give them a free switch into Iron Treads. So I'm going to go for the Moonblast now just in case that happens. They go for another T-Bolt. This Meloetta is relentlessly attacking us with its Terra Electric Thunderbolts. Does no damage. We get the Moonblast off. And we nearly get the KO on the Meloetta, but not quite, which is unfortunate. So what I'm going to do here is... I could have kept Gyarados alive, really, couldn't I? And um, wished into it, but I'm going to go for that wish now, since we may as well do. They're probably expecting us to take Meloetta out, but no, 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 no. We go for a wish. Hopefully, they don't paralyze us. They paralyzed me as soon as I said it. As soon as I said it. Please don't be fully paralyzed. We don't get fully paralyzed, so we do get the wish off, which is nice. There we go. Floor just once again proving why it's such a badass Pokemon in the OU tier right now. Uh, you know, it's, it's such a cool Pokemon. I really like it. Let's go for a Moonblast now. So they go for another T-Bolt. Obviously, they outspeed us because we're paralyzed. I think they outspeed us anyway. Bit of damage. No fully paralyzed. No fully paralyzed. We get a Moonblast off. KO the Meloetta. And then we're going to get some health back with our Wish, which is great. So Meloetta goes down. And that's a great, specially offensive threat gone now, which is amazing. So we get that Wish recovery back to the green. Let's see what they come into next. In comes the Iron Treads. This thing's going to have Iron Head, no doubt, but it is low on health. And the Stealth Rocks do dig in, so they might go for a Rapid Spin. I think I'm going to go for a Moonblast. I think that's the way to go. They go for a knockoff, expecting a switch, maybe. But no, I'm on, I wasn't going to switch out. I'm, I'm being ballsy with this Vlogis. But we couldn't move because we were fully paralyzed, which is very unfortunate. Um, so now they can go for a Rapid Spin if they want to. They've knocked us off. They do go for the Rapid Spin, which does a nice bit of chip damage. Are we going to get fully paralyzed once again? Mm, yes. No, we don't. Good. Moonblast comes through, takes out the Iron Treads. There we go. Floor just once again coming through. 
But we just did a Forge video yesterday, so this isn't going to be a Forge video today. No matter how well Forge does, it's not going in that thumbnail once again. So in comes Blaze the Gourmet, which is going to be what? Sinister? Dragonite. Let's see what Dragonite does here. So let's go for that Moonblast. They probably Dragon Dance. They do Dragon Dance, which is terrifying. But we have got the Great Tusk in the back, so it's not too worrying. Because Great Tusk obviously has Ice Spinner, and they can't Terror. So we go for a Moonblast at plus one. It's going to do a lot of damage. It kind of just popped their weakness policy, though, which is not good. So Dragonite is coming through with a weakness policy after a Dragon Dance. It is a very powerful threat right now. We have to go for a Wish once again. I could Terra Steel, but there's no point because... Why would I do that? You know? <laughs> we wouldn't have lived at plus three extreme speed no matter how much we Terra Steeled. So, now what? My gut tells me Dragapult. My real gut tells me Great Tusk. So I'm going to go Great Tusk. I think Great Tusk can finish this game off with the Ice... Well, with this Dragonite off with the Ice Spinner. I'm pretty sure we can take a hit. So let's go for it and find out. They go for an Outrage, their most powerful move, plus three. We lived. Great Tusk is so bulky. So bulky. We go for the Ice Spinner. Take out the Dragonite. And that is GG to the Dragonite. I don't like Shiny Dragonite. I really don't like Shiny Dragonite, but it is what it is. In comes Lyra the Leafeon once again. This thing can definitely take an Ice Spinner, that's for sure. And they probably attack us with something. Well, obviously. Let's go for an Ice Spinner just to get some damage off. They actually go for a Sunny Day. Ooh, that's just actually turned the tides a bit for them. We get the Protosynthesis in defense, which is not going to matter because that Solar Blade is definitely KOing us. But we do get the Ice Spin off, which will do a bit of chip damage to the uh, Leafeon, which is probably weakness policy as well, right? It's not. Let's go for another Ice Spinner. And then um, let's take this Solar Blade to the face. So they go for the Solar Blade. Leafeon coming through. I can't believe they brought Leafeon to an OU game and it's actually like, going hard. Like, that's amazing. So, Great Tusk goes down. They are hurt by the Rocky Helmet, which is great. I didn't think Solar Blade would be a contact move because it's like a beam of light that they're just like slashing you with. But, you know what? I'm not complaining. So, what do we do here is the question. I think I'm going to go Reuniclus. I think Reuniclus can take a knockoff from this thing. And go for a sidekick. I really hope we can. Let's go for the sidekick and see. So they go for a synthesis, which is very, very devastating for us because the fact that they can just fully heal pretty much in the sunlight, and we our psychic is gonna do probably like half. Oh, it does over half. Brilliant. Let's go for another psychic. They have to attack us, they can't just keep synthesizing, otherwise they'll burn their sun turns. So they go for a solar blade. That's definitely their most powerful attack to go for. Um, because I mean we could tear a fairy for all they know. Um, in front of the knockoff. So, Solar Blade doesn't quite get the KO on Reuniclus as we're able to go for another Psychic and take out the Leafeon, which is fantastic. So, Leafeon going down is great. Reuniclus came through for us there, which is fantastic. In comes Kintsugi, <coughs> the Sinister. So, that's great. Um, we could go for a Shadow Ball or we could go for a Future Sight. I'm leaning towards Future Sight, to be honest with you. They go for a Shadow Ball to finish us off anyway, so there's no point in messing around. I am glad, though, that they are not going for a Calm Mind there, because they could have Calm Mind stalled us, but I am guessing they're not that set. And um, the Harsh Sunlight does fade, so we can't go for a Specs Flamethrower. I, we have to go Dragapult, and I'm glad I haven't Terrored yet, because now I'm Terror Ghost, and this Shadow Ball is definitely going to need that Terror to get the KO. Um, so we will go for the Terror, Shadow Ball, boom, Choice Specs, boom, should definitely take out the Sinister, or close to take out the Sinister, so let's see how that plays out. As there we go, Terror Ghost. What a close game. This was a really fun, close game, to be honest with you. I really enjoyed this one. So we go for the Shadow Ball, and obviously that's hopefully going to take out the Sinister. Hopefully. Let's see if it does. It does. Cleanly takes it out. No critical hits needed. Sinister goes down, and that's going to be the game. GG Blitzer. That was a fun one. I did enjoy that one, to be honest with you. And we have ourselves a bonus battle, or should I say a boss battle, because we're going against Scorpion from the Discord server in the overused tier. Go check out Scorpion's channel. He's honestly a really good battler, like a proper veteran at battling. So, like, you should definitely go check him out. He's better than me. I don't know why he's still here. You should def definitely be watching Scorpion instead of me. Anyway, anyway, let me know if he's going to win based on the team you see on screen right now. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Scorpion. So, they're going to lead off with Ribombi, as I expected, as I lead off with my Scizor. Um, I can just go straight for a BP here because Sizzle does really well against their entire team. Um, so I'll go for a BP. They probably go for the sticky webs, but, you know, it's fine. Let's get the BP off first to get rid of the Ribombe. Then we just, like, 
spin them away. They do have the Gold Dengo, but Gold Dengo is going to be hesitant to switch into a Great Tusk, that's for sure. So, um, we go for the BB, take them down to the Sash, they go for the Sticky Webs, that's going to definitely be, you know, at least whatever. So now, we go for a BP once again, there's no real reason not to. We go for another BP, take out the Ribombe. Not letting it go for a stun spot. I was going to go for the knockoff, predicting the gold dengo, but I'm kind of glad I didn't because <laughs> otherwise we would be maybe a paralyzed sizzle right now. In comes the Zamazenta. This thing is a threat. Now, they probably go for something along the lines of the iron defense right now, so I'm going to go for a U turn just to get on out of there. Um, just because I don't want to switch my Reuniclus into this thing if it goes for a crunch, just predicting the Reuniclus switch. So I want to go for the U turn. I really think that, yeah, they go for a crunch expecting the Unicus to come in, which makes sense. We go for a U-turn. Bit of chip damage on the uh, Zamazenta over there. Bit of life orb chip on us. But it's fine. Sizzle's still healthy. We can go for the bullet punch on the Glimora, the Porygon, etc. So what we can do now is, if we want to, we could go Gyarados and start setting up Dragon Lancers. Um, Gyarados with Dragon Lancers really goes hard, but I would like to get my Stealth Rocks up if possible. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my Reuniclus once again. Um, as I said a minute ago, uh, and we could probably predict them. Like, here's the thing, right? Do they really stay in and go like go for a crunch here, or do they switch into the Roaring Moon? I feel like it's a really obvious switch into the Roaring Moon right now. The problem we've got is if they do go Roaring Moon, what do we do to the Roaring Moon? We haven't got an Intimidate user. I guess we could go Florgis, but if they go for a Dragon Dance, we're screwed. So do I, but then again, is it too obvious that I'm going to go for a Focus Blast to take out the Roaring Moon? See, I'm overthinking it. I'm just going to go for the basic play of Psychic. They do go for a Crunch. I'm glad I didn't go for a Focus Sash. We, that like is nothing. We go for a Psychic. It's doing some massive damage to the Zamazenta, which is great. Actually nearly taking it out, which is fantastic. So now, the Zamazenta is on Death's Door. They could still use Zamazenta later, for sure, um, for certain things. So I'm going to go for a Focus Blast, just predicting the switch out now into the Roaring Moon. They actually go for another crunch to get as much damage on the Reuniclus as possible, which is a very good play because I went for the Focus Blast. We do connect the Focus Blast, which is nice, but um, it takes out the Zamazenta. But if we'd have missed that there, we would have lost Reuniclus to the Zamazenta the next turn. I mean, we could have switched out because we got Regenerator, but I mean, I'm not going to do that. In comes the Roaring Moon. The Roaring Moon is here. So this thing is probably booster energy and speed or attack, right? I'm guessing attack with Dragon Dance. Attack, yeah. So it must be Dragon Dance. Probably going to go for a knockoff. Can we switch anything in? I'm leaning towards the Roaring Moon, that's for sure. I am leaning towards the Roaring Moon. But I, I really don't want him to get Dragon Lance off. I really don't want him to get Dragon Lance off. Um, we don't really need... Like, we got clear body on Dragapult. This is a flying type. We don't really need the Sticky Webs gone. So I think I will go Great Tusk. Get that Regenerator back on my Reuniclus. If they go for a knockoff, it'll sting a little bit, but not too much. And if they are Acrobatics, which I'm assuming they will be... We should go for an ice spinner. So they go ahead and get, we get caught in the sticky webs, which is fine. Um, they go for a knockoff, which is going to definitely do nothing. But we do get some Rocky Helmet Chip on them, which is great. And uh, now we can go for a Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock is going to be really important for breaking the Sash on the Glimora. Um, so I am going to go for it. They may go for a Dragon Dance here, but I doubt it because we could Headlong Rush or Close Combat. They do withdraw the Roaring Moon, probably to go into the Gold Dengo to block the Rapid Spin, maybe. But I don't really care about the sticky webs too much anyway, so... Goldengo does come in. We get the Stealth Rocks up. They float in the air with their air balloon. Perfect switch, really. We go for that Stealth Rocks, which is great. Um, but now they can go for a Make It Rain if they want to and hurt everything on my team, pretty much, um, barring the sizzle. So I think we go Reuniclus and let it go down, which is what I'm going to do. If they go for a Nasty Plot here, we were going to be in a bit of a predicament, that's for sure, because Goldengo is a nightmare with Nasty Plot. So we'll go Reuniclus like so. Get caught in the sticky webs, doesn't really matter. Reuniclus is slow as out anyway. Um, they go for a nasty plot, so that is terrifying, to say the least. That is very terrifying. They probably go for a shadow ball. We should go for a shadow ball as well, just in case they get greedy, but they don't. They go for a shadow ball, that's going to take out Reuniclus, obviously. So Reuniclus does go down to a plus two shadow ball. Now we're in a very tough position because they haven't terraged yet, which means we can't just go Dragapult. I say we go Dragapult now. I say we go Dragapult now, we U-turn to break the air balloon. And also, just in case they Terra. That's what I'm thinking. So they withdraw the Goldengo. They don't want to Terra with the Goldengo, which is great for us. They're going to go into the Roaring Moon, which isn't going to appreciate the U-turn too much after Stealth Rocks especially. So let's go for that U-turn real quick, like so. 
We may get some momentum here. The Roaring Moon can easily be out um, be outplayed right now with the uh, Great Tusk. So let's go Great Tusk real quick. And um, this way we can go for a Ice Spinner. And the reason I go for an Ice Spinner is because that Goldengo could be coming in next. Um, so we get caught in the Sticky Webs, which is unfortunate. But again, it doesn't really matter too much. We go for an Ice Spinner predicting either the Roaring Moon to stay in or the Goldengo to come in and then we can break his air balloon. That'd be great. They go for an Acrobatics, which is going to sting, but unfortunately not enough to KO as we go for an Ice Spinner, which is going to be able to KO the Roaring Moon, no doubt. Yes, there we go. So Roaring Moon goes down. They still haven't terrored, so I'm a bit worried about that. They can now go Porygon Z if they want to, or they can go into Goldengo. I'm leaning towards the Goldengo. I don't think we need Great Tusk anymore because he gets taken out by all three of their Pokemon now. Goldengo comes in. They probably go for another Nasty Plot. I can't risk them going for another Nasty Plot. So I need to break that air balloon somehow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for an Ice Spinner now. They go for a Shadow Ball, which will definitely KO Great Tusk, unfortunately. There we go. Great Tusk goes down, but it's fine. We didn't need Great Tusk to win the game, that is for sure. Um, so what we can do here is I'm pretty sure Sizzle can live one hit, but I don't know for sure. We kind of have to force them to go for a Make It Rain, which is going to be a problem. Um, that's for sure. So... Do I want to do that or do I not? I think we have to go Scizor and Bullet Punch here. I think we have to go Scizor, Bullet Punch, break the air balloon. So the Gyarados can come in, get the KO with the Earthquake, or close to a KO at least. Um, so let's go for that BP real quick. We go for the BP to break the air balloon, which is great. It's going to do a nice bit of chip damage. We get the Life Orb recoil, um, obviously after their air balloon pops. They can just go for a Shadow Ball and take us out though. So Shadow Ball comes through. Goldengo does do the deed. It does do its business, takes care of the scissor. And now, however, we're in a better position. So this thing has nasty plot, make it rain, shadow ball, and something else. The real question is, does it have... Hmm. Does it have the Thunderbolt? And can Terra Flying Gyarados live a Thunderbolt? That's the real question. I think we can. I think we can. Because it'll be neutral, it'll be uh, not neutral, but it'll be one time super effective for a start. We're at full HP. And I think we can take a hit. I just really do think we can take a hit. So I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance right now. Um, again, if they do stay in and go for a Thunderbolt, heck, if they go for a Make It Rain predicting the Terror, then we're kind of boned. But I have a feeling we're going to live a Thunderbolt. The only problem we've got is if the Thunderbolt par paralyzes us. That's what's going to be a problem. So this might be a big misplay. If it is, feel free to rinse me in the comments section. I don't need to say that because you already will. We go for a Dragon Dance. I'm hoping because they're Air Balloon and they're not, you know, they haven't got a boosting item, we can live a Thunderbolt if they have Thunderbolts. They actually go for a Shadow Ball, so they don't have the Thunderbolt, but that Shadow Ball will sting a little bit. Not too much. I think we could have lived a Thunderbolt, to be honest with you. So now we go for an EQ, and that should take out the Goldengo, provided they don't Terra. Earthquake comes through. They didn't Terra. Down goes the Goldengo. And we're making strides with Gyarados real quick. So there we go. Focus Ash is now broken on Glimora thanks to the... Um, thanks to the... What do we call it? The Stealth Rocks. Porygon Z. The Porygon Z's an iffy one. If it's Choice Scarf Z, then it definitely takes us down. In comes the Glimora, which is an interesting one. So this thing is probably going to go ahead and Terra and go for a Power Gem. Which tells me I should go for a Terra Blast or uh, something like that. I, I think what I'll do is I'll go for the safe waterfall. They do Terra. I'm assuming it'll be Terra Flying or Ghost. That's what I normally see. So let's see what the Glimora is. It's Terra Fairy. So it's a good job we did go for a Stab Waterfall. And, and I guess Terra Blast could have been cool as well. But Waterfall has a chance to flinch. So it's like we may as well go for it. We're a plus two anyway. We're going to take this thing out. No problem. Waterfall takes out the Glimora, which is amazing. Toxic Spikes are set up, but it doesn't matter because I don't think we're going to need to set anything else up. Um, I'm pretty sure the fact that they brought Glimora in instead of the Porygon Z means the Porygon Z isn't Choice Scarfed because Choice Scarf Porygon Z definitely still outspeeds us. But we're at plus three attack right now. Gyarados has never looked so good. <laughs> but let's go, let's go ahead and see this Porygon Z come in real quick. Let's see what we can do here. So we break a potential Sash. Not that I think there'll be Sash on that. And um, we go for a Terra Blast because why not? Let's see the animation. It looks like Aero Blast. Terra Blast comes through. And that should be a clean KO on the Porygon Z as it is. 
Nicely done, Gyarados. GG, Scorpion. We won the boss battle. I've not been Scorpion in ages. That's amazing. We did well for a change. <laughs> GG, Scorpion. That was a fun one. But anyway, here is the team trial. If you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen, let me know if you do use it. I want to hear about your success stories, etc. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.